I absolutely adore Subnautica. Just in general, it's one of my favorite games I've ever played. It's world building, environments, biomes, and the creature designs, and the soundtrack especially are some of the best I've ever seen from a survival game, or just a game in general. But as much as I adore Subnautica, there's always been one monumental issue I've had with it. The game is just way too easy. Even in Subnautica's quote unquote hardcore mode, you're probably not going to see yourself actually dying if you try to not die. And pretty much as soon as you get the Cyclops, you're most likely good for the rest of the game, and I'm just not okay with that. Installing a mod like Death Run is just a bit too easy. I feel like we need to make Subnautica's vanilla experience absolute hell. And so I've concocted a list of rules and restrictions that are designed to make the vanilla game just a tad bit harder. So I'm going to list them here. Starting off with rule number one, we are only allowed to build one base. Honestly, that rule is fine because, you know, most people, including me, only really build one base anyways, but this base needs to be built in the crash zone. <laughs> the worst surface biome in the entire game. Rule number three is that we are not allowed to use any repulsion cannons because they make it a bit too easy to fight off creatures. And rule number four is that we are only allowed to use the stasis rifle against leviathans. Rule number five is that you are not allowed to use any defensive upgrades for the seamoth or the cyclops, so no perimeter defense and no shield. Rule number six is that I am not allowed to use the bioreactor or the nuclear reactor. I'm only going to be using solar panels since the area that I'll be building in doesn't have any heat sources. Rule number seven is that you are not allowed to use the seamoth sonar module. Rule number eight is that I am not allowed to use the prawn suit grappling arm. It just makes use of the prawn suit a bit too easy. We want to make the prawn suit far more annoying than it already is. Rule number nine is that I am not allowed to build any oxygen tanks at all. This is the rule that is probably going to completely screw me over. And rule number 10 is, obviously this means, I can't craft a rebreather either. Rule number 11 is that I am not allowed to use any beacons, and I have to turn off all beacons in my PDA as soon as they appear. Rule number 12 is that I am not allowed to build any storage hey, hey, units, hey, hey, modification hey, hey, stations, hey, chargers, or radios in the Cyclops. Completely disallowed. Rule number 13 is that I am not allowed to craft a Mark III Cyclops or Seamoth Death Module, Swim Charge Fins, Ultra Glide Fins, and the Ultra Capacity Tank using the Modification Station. Rule number 14 is that we are not able to repair the Aurora's Drive Core. Do you want to know how lucky Riley was that he was able to repair it? This intricate piece of technology? Well, our luck has ran out, we are not allowed to repair it. Rule number 15 is that we are not allowed to use ion power sources for our tools or our vehicles. We can still make them for the rocket, but for those two other things, we're not allowed to make them. Rule number 16 is that we have to collect and hatch every single cuttlefish egg by the end of the game. Rule number 17 is that we have to scan a reaper leviathan, a ghost leviathan, a sea dragon leviathan, a crab squid, an ampule, and a warper by the end of the game. Rule number 18 is that we have to collect every creature egg and hatch them all in an alien containment unit. Rule number 19 is that we are not allowed to intentionally kill any creatures besides bleeders and prey fish. Finally, rule number 20 is that we have to go through the entire story, every life pod, every Degassi base, the entire Aurora, and every Precursor base and cache. Yep, those are all the rules for this challenge, and by now you can probably tell that this is going to be a really difficult playthrough for me. But that's the point, we are trying to make Subnautica a much more difficult game without the use of a single mod. So I hope you enjoy this, um, interesting playthrough. I'm really looking forward to this, actually. Ah, this lovely cutscene. It's been so long since I've played Subnautica. It's been two months. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put you in there because I freaking hate you. There's no use for you. I'm gonna take that water. Probably gonna need it. I'm gonna take the nutrient blocks and you're gonna stay in there because I don't like you. Why do you exist? Why are you here? You totally didn't save my ass in the cutscene, but why am I doing this to myself? I really missed this stupid game. Okay, just take just take it all in, take all in. It's a peaceful world. It's a peaceful, beautiful ocean planet. What monstrosities do you have to worry about? Let's break a limestone. Got some copper. Very cool. We're already moving along. We're already progressing. I'm gonna try and get a peeper. Let's see if I can get this scrawny peeper. Oh, I got it. I got it. But at the cost of my O2, I was so focused on that peeper. I forgot about my human bodily needs. 
I've heard this quote so many times. I understand, Karen. Maybe I should turn you off again. You know, you know what? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that because I love Karen. She's my computer wife. Karen, please, 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 just shut up. I'm just begging you, please shut up. I never get mad at Karen, you know? Will you just stop with the sass? I honestly don't even want to listen to you. She's my lovely wife with the, uh... Um... Shut up! I just love her too much to get mad at her, okay? You know, some metal salvage would be nice. <laughs> I'm just saying. Actually, Black of fish are going to be insanely important because I feel like I'm not gonna be able to reach the deeper areas without eating a couple because they do give you oxygen whenever you eat them raw. So I'm only gonna make some water, but I'm gonna keep some bladder fish with me just so I can eat them during an oxygen emergency, which I am going to have a lot of. Okay, so what am I doing? Okay, so our next step is going to be to try our best to get a sea glide because if I if I don't get a sea glide, I'm sorry, but this is going to be impossible. This is going to be annoying. There is a sea glide though. At least nighttime makes it easy to see all the bladder fish around here. I am going to get so many of these fucking guys. Yes, here we go. Sea glide. We should actually make that as fast as possible. Uh Excuse me? Why are there a bunch of floaters just floating in the water? I mean, it's in their name to float, but they usually attach themselves onto rocks. Did your guys' rock just not spawn? Is that a thing now? Just colonies of floaters just floating in the water? Oh, yes, you're here. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna stay around this guy. I can get oxygen without having to consume all my bladder fish. Excuse me, sir. I need directions on, on where the nearest limestone outcrop is. I'm actually new here, you know? I, I don't really know where all the resources are. Um, I'm new to planet... What was it? 45 something? Um, but you're, I, know, I, know, I know you're a native inhabitant of the good old coral reefs around here, so you probably know where, where the nearest limestone outcrop is, right? I mean, yes, Godfrey. Thank you, Mr. Brain Coral. I love you, Mr. Brain Coral. <laughs> Am I going insane? Is this like a testament to what my commentary is going to be for the rest of the game? If so, if I ever show this video to a therapist, I'm getting put into a psych ward. There we go. There's our sea glide. All right, now that I got the good old sea glide, which is going to make things much easier, I'm going to go on a little search for mobile vehicle bay fragments and sea moth fragments. And we're going to try and grab the sea moth as fast as possible here. Oh, hey, it's some gold. We're rich. Yes, we are, Driller. Very good. I just need a vehicle bay fragment, and you're not fucking one of them, are you? Ah. Look at that. And I need oxygen again. <laughs> and we are going to go on a grand, beautiful expedition to get some sea moth fragments. All right, game. it is time for you to embrace me with your sea mothic love. I do not want to go below 100 meters. But look at that, I found one. Okay, we got one. Now we just need like, what, two more? It's not that bad. Am I gonna make it? Am I, am I gonna make it? I made it, look at that with Actually, zero seconds to spare. Thank you. I love you so much. Now I just need one more. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Did I see my fragment right there? I, I went too far. I went too far. I went too freaking far. Go towards the light. You got this. You got this. Oh, no, no, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay, yes, here's one. Okay, eat this, eat this, eat this. Okay, then scan it. Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm going up. I got it! Hey, guess what guys? I got it and I only died one time, so, um, sure, that was a successful expedition. Hello? Ah! Ah! What the fuck?! Oh, oh, where's- where's the exit? Where's the exit? Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Holy fucking shit, that gave me a heart attack. I never thought I would ever get scared by a crash fish ever again like that. That was not enjoyable. I- I did not like that. <laughs> oh... Okay, I mean, at least I can make my power cell now. Jesus f***ing Christ, that got me good. <laughs> Alright, and there is the result of all of my troubles. Good old mobile vehicle bay. We now need to go and make a sea moth. What the hell is going on right now? 
No! 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 Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. How did I forget about my battery? God fucking. <laughs> the fucking shot I forgot my bad. My Sea Glide's battery was. Oh yeah, that's just not existent now. Of course. Had a bunch of quartz on me too. I'm not losing that. I'm gonna go back for it. Where's some bladder fish? There's some bladder fish. I'll piss off, stalker. Nobody even wants you. I surely don't want you. Pff, fucking bloody exes, I swear. He's an ex, you know, used to go to water college with him, and he doesn't like me anymore, so. Is that it? That's something. Just titanium floating. I died here, here we go. My quartz, all my stuff. Not repeating the same mistake though, I'm going back up. <laughs> ah yes, here's my stuff being grabbed on by some of the floaters I was carrying. Alrighty. There's our glass for the sea moth. Crazy how if I just wasn't terrible at the game and forgot that my sea glide has a battery meter that exists, this would not have happened to me. Okay, finally, the culmination of all my troubles. It really wasn't worth it, but this thing will carry me far. It will carry me very far. You know, I wonder if I can pull a little trick. Yes, I'm still worthy. I'm still worthy. That thing could have easily crushed me and killed me, but it didn't because I clicked at the right time. Okay, so this sea moth will carry me much further than the sea glide ever will because if it wasn't obvious already, it gives me oxygen whenever I'm inside it and I can go deeper than I could before. So this is very good. All right, well, here we go. Gonna go ahead and repair this stupid life pod. Here we go. Progress, actual accomplishments. Not dying at the bottom of the ocean because I forgot my seagull has a battery. <laughs> oh, radio message. Let's see what um, message we got. I'm gonna guess it's life pod six. I actually don't know if that's life pod six. I think that's life pod 17. I was way off. Jesus fucking. Christ, okay. Hello? Is... Is anybody here? It's so weird to only have 45 seconds of oxygen. I never got an oxygen tank, and I'm probably never going to since it's against the rules, so... Holy fucking shit. Oh, Aurora's exploding. <laughs> Let's go watch it. Ah, yes! My hopes and dreams, they're going to slip away forever with the passing of this explosion. I can't wait! Yes! Yes! I'm never getting off this damn planet, aren't I? Stuck here with Karen forever! Oh, there's a diamond. Okay, it was in this, like, dead reef. Sparse reef area. Yes, 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 but I'm- I- I- I'm talking. I don't care about this dystopian capitalist corporation I'm- I'm serving under. More than my wife and my bloody financial advisor as well, apparently. Ah, radiation suit. Okay, I kind of just had, like, lead just on hand, so all I had to do was go and get fiber mesh, so... In other words, Fuck off, radiation. So I can go explore wrecks and stuff, which is going to be pretty difficult actually because I have like no oxygen, but we kind of need to do that so we can get um the propulsion cannon. I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Aurora early so I could get like blueprints for stuff. I mean, I, I, won't, I won't be like repairing it, but it's good to get it out of the way, okay? <laughs> That's my motto. There we go, we cut the door, but now I have less than 20 seconds of oxygen. Actually, more like less than 10 seconds of oxygen. Actually, more like less than 5 seconds of oxygen. Holy f***. That was traumatizing. I have bladder fish, I should be using them. Alrighty, what do we got in here? What do we got in here? Command chair, laser cutter fragment. I used one to get in here, you cock. Okay, okay, just get, get everything and leave. Get everything and leave. Get everything and leave. Open supply crate, sure. Battery charger, yes, I will gladly take that. They are allowed, after all. Um, 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 mobile beagle bait, 
right off modification station okay that's pretty good okay, okay, okay. what the fuck is with the laser cutter fragments i used a laser cutter to get in here okay just calm down everything's fine we're gonna find the stuff i need eventually what's this it's life pod six what's this ultra glide fins well i can't really build those sorry to say but i will take all your pdas okay here's another wreck what the hell is this soundtrack Jesus, that sounds scary. Modification station. That's pretty good. What's this? Vehicle upgrade console. Yep, I, I, I do need you. All these modification station fragments. Beauty, beauty, beauty is the modification station fragment. I'm gonna take these because I could use them. Okay, is there, any, is there anything else around here? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 no, 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 <laughs> yes, you have every right to be fucking coughing. Going on one last expedition. There's something down here. There's something down here, and I can feel it. Okay. Okay, here is one more wreck that I can check. I'm gonna go in and check the wreck. Okay, let's see. Can I make it? Can I make it before I have to go back to the seam off? Oh, oh my god. I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it way too close. I'm cutting it way too close. I'm cutting it way too... <laughs> What's this? No, 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 no. What? I'm, I, I got stuck. I got stuck. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Go, go, go. God. Oh. I had a bladder fish. I had a bladder fish, didn't I? Uh, fine. That can happen. Now I have to go back and get my seam off. Hello, my Ford F-150. I'm sorry I left you down here. If I wasn't a big old idiot, you wouldn't have been left down here. Okay, I really need to switch up my strategy for whenever I'm going into the deep death like this, or else I'm just gonna keep dying. I'm just gonna have to keep having to swim back to my seam off to go and get it. I need to absolutely remember that I am on 45 seconds of oxygen. And you think I would, but I'm just too used to swimming with like more than like eight times that, 225 seconds of oxygen. So, okay, we're back. That didn't really need to happen and it was completely avoidable, but it happened and there's nothing you or I can do anything about, so. All right, so it's time for us to gear up and head to the Aurora and loot the living shit out of it, so. I'm going to get the propulsion cannon. I'm going to get some batteries for my tools. Ah, here we go. Here's our propulsion cannon. Now we have everything we need to break into this stupid ship. Okay, I'm good. I'm a, am I good? I don't know. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Uh, well, <laughs> that sucks, Karen, because... As it turns out, the drive core is irreparable. I cannot fix it for some weird in-universe reason I'm, that I'm trying to justify. God, look at all these fucking head crab things. I, I can't even kill them because it's against the rules. Let's see if I can remember this code off the top of my anus. Yes, I can. Yes. That means I spend way too much time playing this game. God, I really need to branch out. Oh, God damn it. Believe it or not, I, I am still allowed to kill these fuckers because if I don't, they'll actually kill me and there's nothing I can do about it, so. I guess I could just beat you off, right? That, 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 that doesn't kill you, see? I'm still being a pacifist. It's all good. And Seamoff Death Module. I will gladly take that. I'm getting the prawn suit blueprint before I get even like the Cyclops blueprint. That's so weird, actually. Usually, usually it's the opposite way around. Jump over! What is wrong with this game? Okay, now I just need to remember you. No, okay. Ah, too easy. What can I say? I'm just a subnautica extraordinaire. All right, give me that. There we go, Neptune rocket blueprint. Just got it out of the way, you know? <laughs> Karen got cut off by the time capsule. <laughs> and while I can't repair the uh, the drive core, I am gonna go in here just to get the uh, the Cyclops upgrade that they have in here. Karen, shut the. Ugh. Oh my God! Quit with your ass. I don't care. I just want this beauty. Okay, thank you. Okay, you still love her. You still love her. It's just it's just a bit of a hard time in your relationship because of how stressed you are. Okay, you still love her though. 
Okay. We're, me and Karen are good, okay? Just don't worry about it. Okay, it's time for us to get out of here. We don't need to stay in this stupid derelict ship anymore. There's really nothing here for us. Oh, there's a life bot up there. I'll take you. Creature decoy, I mean, you actually might be mighty useful whenever I make my base in the crash zone. Christ, now, okay, now I really need to make a base. Like, good lord, I have so much stuff now. It's gonna take more than a week. Yeah, I don't care. I can survive for way more than a week. Oh, don't, yep, 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 no, don't need you, actually. Yeah, that damn charter, ooh. Oh, woe is me, I have to go look at a planet real quick. Write me a river, Avery Quinn. But yeah, I'm gonna go get life pod free. And then I'm gonna probably focus on getting the Cyclops and building my new base and getting a prawn suit. So we got a lot of things to do. We got a lot of things to actually uh, catch up on and Boy, big tunnel. Oh, here we go. Freaking finally. I am going to head down into the mushroom forest to try and get Cyclops and Moonpool fragments. Okay, we're in the mushroom forest. Time to find these Cyclops fragments. And Moonpool fragments too. Uh, I guess. I guess we can get those too, I guess. Warning. Oh, 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 oh. What? Oh, I got... I got a death module and I didn't put it in my seam off. <sighs> Why am I so dumb? I should have gotten that. Jesus Christ. I cannot continue being this just unbelievably dull. Oh, that's a reaper though. Might not want to tread too far over here. I don't know why I am treading too far over here. Greed's getting the best of me. I don't know what else to say. What the f did I just hit? No way I hit one of those jelly ray guys. Ah, there we go. There we go. Good morning, crusty crew. I'm just stopping by. Hello? Okay, you're another one I need to go and get. What life pods have I gotten? I got 17, I got 3, I got 6, and I got 4. Okay, here we go. This is something I should have done, <laughs> like, 20 minutes earlier, but I just didn't. I'm going to some wrecks that, um... Oh my... Oh, oh, no. It's, 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 it's over for me. It's over for me. It's actually over for me. Well, there's our good luck scanner. As long as that scanner is in that storage, we got good luck. Oh, oh, Julius. I don't care, Karen. Oh my God, it's, it's beautiful. Cyclops! The Cyclops is gonna carry me way further than the Seamoth ever could. And I'm gonna try and leave you as close to the entrance as I can. <laughs> Just so I don't drown in here. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. There we go. Just dodge and weave. Dodge and weave and don't don't get stuck on shit. Yes, by all means, repair the goddamn sealed door instead of doing what you're supposed to do. Okay, just anything, anything. Yes, by all means, I will gladly take that. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You, oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, we, we got the arms that we're going to be using at least. I'm going to be using the propulsion cannon arm and the drill arm. That actually gives me a frill that Subnautica just hasn't given me in quite a while, so that's good. Okay, I think it is time for me to build the next two vehicles for my um, efforts, and that is a lot of shit that I have to get.
There we go. It's done. It's done. Feels good to finally have the Cyclops again. Yes! Finally! Oh, I love this badass submarine. Finally got the colors. There we go. Biggie Cheese is back, baby. All right, well, onwards. It's time to go make the prom suit, a vehicle that I don't like quite as much as the Cyclops, but we need it. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't think I should have done that. I don't think I should have done that. Oh. I don't think I should have done that. Did I damage you? Oh, he seems to be completely okay. Well, all right then. Well, okay then. We have our prawn suit. Hey, honeybee, the whole family's here. We got honeybee, biggie cheese, my Ford F-150 somewhere. Alrighty, well, my Cyclops and my prawn suit are just gonna hang out over there, while I am going to take my beautiful, sporty, useful, and functional Ford F-150 to the floater island to get some base blueprints. Gonna go ahead and get this uh, life pod, by the way, since you are, like, directly below the floater island. Hey, a time capsule, look at that. Whoa, this guy gave me a lot of stuff. An air bladder, large filtered water, Marvel Melon Seed, yes, you're the best! I don't, even, I don't even have to get that from the floating island anymore. I envy you, player, for you may be experiencing this wonderful place for the first time. Yeah, um... <laughs> about that. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Floater Island. Finally, land fucking ho. Well, here's the PDA. We're one step closer to getting the entire story. Ah, uh, the Degassi base. This is where we're going to get all of our secrets. Multi-purpose room. I can make a big old base in the crash zone and show those Reapers what's up. Ah! Fucker! You're lucky I'm also doing a pacifist run right now or else I would kill your ass. Okay, that can... That can happen. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Just back up. Just get away, okay? Please. Oh, damn it, they're everywhere! Piss off! What the hell? It's like just a shit ton of plants over here. Was this always here? It's like a whole ass farm. Alright, whatever. Might as well pick up this Chinese potato. My social credit score just went up. Bad time, bad joke. Okay, well, I need this uh, indoor grow better, or else this is just gonna be a completely useless venture. Useless if I can't grow the uh, plants that I'm gonna eat. And where the hell is my sea moth? Gonna scan the observatory. I actually need this. Because I want to make an observatory where I can go look at the Reaper Leviathans. Maybe I'll set up in a place where, like, one can swim by every now and then. Okay, next up is to figure out where I'm putting this, um, crash zone base. For starters, I have no clue, so let's go look at a map. Luckily, this funny guy happens to exist, so, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah um... This actually doesn't tell me anything, as a matter of fact. Can I see, like, the terrain? Terrain. Just... Terrain. This is not terrain. Where is the terrain? Okay, here we go. This one's better. So, now that we can actually see the terrain, let's figure out what we're looking at. So, maybe, like, over here might work. Or in the mesas. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go right here on this, like, cliff area. I think that's where I'm gonna put my base. Thing is, I wanna actually be able to build this damn thing without getting gnawed on every five seconds. So, yep, that's what I'm doing. So, um, let's set off. We're gonna go to my Cyclops and, you know, just fill its minuscule amounts of storage with just a bunch of building shit. Why is that just floating? It's like one 
bit of terrain, just keeping that up. I think they missed a spot whenever they were <laughs> rendering this area. Okay, so my Seamoth might just stay here while I go and build this big ass useless base. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna bring you back to the life, bud. Okay, well, I suppose it's time to just set off for uh, my frontier. Why is it turning nighttime? Okay, but but I hear y'all, but I don't exactly see y'all, so... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I waited the entire night to see if any would show up, and none did. So, we're gonna build here, probably on that ridge over there. So, let's get all my materials. And the base done. It's done. Gonna get rid of all the boring bits of me building the actual base, because nobody cares. Okay, now, I actually need to, like fill in the base with a bunch of stuff like you know basic essentials fabricators and stuff probably furniture you know just quality of life stuff making not be an empty shell of a base like how i'm an empty shell of a person also i didn't even get attacked by the reaper of leviathan one time while building the base that's called efficiency that or i really just smell bad I'm gonna look at the reaper of leviathan pass by luckily they don't attack bases Okay, well, I went into some wrecks in the bulb zone, and I got some things, but I realized I wasn't recording the whole time. That makes total sense, so we're gonna head up now. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the centerpiece of my base, which is going to be my big-ass aquarium. But you're right there. Oh, there is somebody outside with a fucking weed whacker. And I'm also gonna put down a vehicle upgrade console, so I can actually, you know, start making upgrades for my vehicles, and especially my prawn suit. You need your arms. I'm actually going to get to work on the prawn suit's arms right now. Thing is, I don't really make the propulsion arm because I always make the grappling arm, but I hate myself, so I'm not doing the grappling arm this playthrough. And your name is obviously going to be Honeybee because that's what I called you before. There we go, Honeybee's back, everybody. Drill arm. Okay, this is gonna make you much more useful. Propulsion cannon. This arm is going to make you slightly less annoying. Okay, it's time to take my new and improved prawn suit out for a spin. Uh, yeah, you're actually still just as annoying to use. Made worse by the fact that I just do not have a grapple arm. Well, at least I can fire fish at other fish. I completely missed. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, these actually just barely make up the lack of the ability to grapple. I feel like I'm going to really just dislike the prawn suit during this playthrough. Especially when it's the only choice I have when it comes to traversing the lava lakes. <laughs> what in the fuck? Jesus Christ! Oh. Yep. I see you, bro. Don't come in here. <laughs> Wow, that kind of scared me. <laughs> and by kinda, I mean really scared me. Yes, I still bloody hear you, but I don't see you because it's nighttime and you give off zero light. Oh, there you are. Oh, why, why are you so close to my... Why are you so close to my base? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Because I have to go out there and build shit soon. Did you piss off? Okay, well that actually gave me a really good and also a really bad idea at the exact same time. I think I should build floodlights on the outside perimeter of the base so I could look at the reaper at night and also some spotlights. Oh, life pod. Oh yes, give it to me please. This is the best life pod in the game by the way and you'll soon discover why. Oh, 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 you wanna fight? Okay, I can. What's another piece of lithium? What's another piece of lithium, fuckbag? Here we go. This is why the best- Hello everybody, my name is Malcolm. Done. Done. 
I'm done. Oh, it looks really cool at night. It's not exactly night yet, but like, look at that. I think we managed to light up the darkness pretty damn well so we can see my terrible neighbor. What should I name this guy? I think I should give this guy a name. I think he deserves a name. I'm gonna call him Steve. Steve the Reaper. Now Steve with two E's, real ones will know, but Steve the Reaper is just gonna be swimming out there. So whenever Steve swims by, the lights will light up his face, his terrifying face. Oh shit. Well, okay, well that that's actually where I'm gonna end it off. If I die of dehydration whenever I start again, eh, who cares?